Hey quad bros, thanks for joining me guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. We're going to be reviewing the newest Gold Order weapons from Season 10 of Enlisted. The Season 10 Battle Pass Gold Order weapons are here. We have uh, four of them. We're only going to be reviewing two of them today because I am a poor boy and Dark Flow will not give me any Gold Order weapons. Dark Flow, please. Uh, I am a poor boy. Now, those two have been chosen for the following reasons. Number one, uh, we're not doing the sword pistol because the sword pistol is a sword pistol. It is exactly what you think it is. If you think that that's funny and a meme, then you should absolutely pick it up and I would highly recommend it just for the meme capabilities on its own. I, I can tell you guys I will absolutely be picking up four of them in the future or however many I'm allowed to get because it's a sword pistol. I mean, come on. And the other one we're not reviewing is the SVT-40 with the drum mag because it's an SVT-40 with a drum mag. So that leaves us with two weapons, the Mondragon M1908 and the Fark Hill Fark Fark Farquhar. Real really? Okay, Far Farquhar. Sure, Farquhar. Yeah, that's yeah, this video is going to get demonetized because of that, but that's fine. Uh, so, we're going to be reviewing those two guns today, guys. Those are our two weapons of choice. Now, if you haven't watched one of these videos before going over my review, I think it's important to note a couple things about my personal criteria. Number one, I care about its gameplay impact, whether it's an actually a good gun or not. And number two, I care about how unique it is in Enlisted. If it's just a copy of a gun that's already in the game with a slight difference in the stats, then I don't really care about it very much at all. It needs to be something that is substantially different, whether it's because of its, uh, you know, its stats or its unique look or it's just brings something unique to the table. Because these Gold Order weapons are, they're rare. I want you guys to get the most that you can out of it. So if it's just something like the, SV, uh, the SVT-40 with a drum mag, well, I don't really value that very high and I don't recommend it. So, uh, without anything else, guys, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your guys' thoughts on these guns down below. And let's jump into starting off with the Farquhar, because otherwise I'm going to forget how to pronounce it. So the Farquhar is a 19-round semi-automatic rifle with excellent dispersion. Its dispersion sat is stat excuse me, is sitting at .18, making it the best semi-automatic rifle in terms of accuracy in all of Enlisted. As far as I'm aware, there could be something... Uh, that's slightly lower, but in terms of its damage output and for what it does, uh, it's exceptionally, exceptionally good. The 19-round magazine is beautiful. I mean, being able to just have that many shots and being able to put down that much firepower uh, makes this arguably the best Gold Order weapon that I think the Allies have access to. Um, especially when you look at weapons like the SNW rifle, which doesn't do at least 10 damage to down enemies, um, or the, uh, excuse me, what is the other one? The Peterson rifle isn't as good. Uh, oh, the M1E5 Garand is certainly not as good as this thing. So this is just a beefed up semi-auto with a bunch of ammo in it. That's, that's really what this is. Uh, it's strong. It hits hard. It's got a good magazine capacity. It's accurate. It's got decent sights. Its sights are a little bit hard to hit at, um, at range just because they are these kind of closed sights. But all in all, you'll be able to land your shots. You'll be able to do good damage. And you'll still be able to kind of spray and pray and hit fire at close range because of that big magazine capacity so there's not a whole lot to go over with this gun guys there's really not it it it's just you know it, it's just good in every in every category it is just it's good good sights great magazine capacity good damage good this good that um great accuracy right so it's it's good and it's great in some regards so yeah um i like it a lot i would recommend it um so we're going to go ahead and give this thing a, don't know how to pronounce it, out of 10. And that brings us to the Mondragon, which I think is incredibly strong. I mean, this is kind of exactly like the Farquhar, except better in every way. Everything that the Farquhar does, this gun does better. It's got a bigger magazine capacity. It's got better sights. It's got better VFX. It's just, it's just really good. Uh, and that, I think that puts it over the edge, especially its sights. Its sights are so unbelievably clean, guys. It's crazy how accurate you can be with this thing. I feel like I can fire this thing, just spray and pray at range and just 
absolutely demolish people. And it feels like it hits harder too. I don't actually think that's the case, but it hits like a truck. The amount of long range one shot kills that I get with this thing is off the charts. Okay. I have gone on 42 plus kills or kill streaks with this gun. It's just so good. It's, it truly is amazing. Um, I love using it. It's accurate. It has a 0.2 dispersion modifier, putting it on the tail end of the bad uh, edge of you know uh, dispersion when it comes to semi-automatic rifles but with a 30 round magazine and with as fast as you can shoot this thing it's really not that big of a deal and with its sights being as clean as they are um, assuming you can actually land your shots this thing is fantastic i really really love this gun um, i would highly recommend it if there is a single best gun to pick up in this battle pass you only have one gold order and you're willing to pick up any gun i would say it would be this if you're looking for a powerful powerful gun um, I will probably be running this even in high tiers when we come to the uh, inevitable merge and get the the matchmaking because this thing is honestly on par with probably like an FG42, maybe not the FG42 too, but certainly just the normal FG42 just because of how fast you can spray it um, and how good it is at range. I mean, look at those shots at range, just being able to land those and kill people. Absolutely amazing. I really... Um, I don't have a whole lot to say about this gun. I, I will say the one big downside of this weapon is the fact that it has um, it has a lot of visual smoke when you fire. Um, I found that sometimes in certain areas and certain lightings, you you kind of do get stuck, and and when you fire, there's a lot of smoke and debris that shoots up in your face, which can be kind of hard to hit enemies um, and and target enemies when that happens. But it's fairly rare. I don't know exactly what causes it. I think it might be whenever you're outside shooting inside, that might be it. But um, hardly a big deal. It's something that again, it doesn't happen very often, and the majority of the time, I feel like I am just absolutely slaughtering people with this gun. So. Um, yeah, absolutely recommended guys. We'll go ahead and give the Mondragon M1908 a Germany would have won World War II if they would have built more of these out of 10. Well, that's my review guys. That is my unbiased, unwarranted, and certainly unneeded review of the Gold Order weapons and enlisted. I hope it did help you out, all jokes aside. Um, I know that, you know, choosing the different Gold Order weapons can be a big deal because they are just so rare and you guys never want to end up getting something crappy and something that you don't want. So, ideally, I helped you out and I gave you some good information. If I did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, guys. It helps me out, as always, and I do truly appreciate it. And if you want to discuss these guns, guys, join our community Discord. We always are talking about everything Enlisted related over there, as well as other games um, all the time. So, hope to see you guys over there. The link for that is down in the description below. But without anything else, thank you again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.